In case you're just moving to the Washington area, the Nationals were once the Montreal Expos. Now back in 1969, the Expos lost, get this, 110 games. By 2004, Major League Baseball owners were looking for a new owner and a new city for the Expos. And that's where attorney Mark Tui comes in. I caught up with him earlier today to remind us what it took to bring baseball back to the nation's capital. Anthony Williams was mayor and Mark Tui was chairman of the baseball committee that brought the Nationals to Washington. In 2005, the team began play at the old RFK Stadium. By 2008, Nats Park was completed. The total cost was over $780 million with taxpayers contributing tens of millions for infrastructure and transportation upgrades. There was a lot of opposition to building this stadium, right, with taxpayer dollars? There was a lot of, uh, a lot of opposition, but let me say, Bruce, that now that we're here in 2019, the stadium's going to be paid off probably 15 years ahead of schedule with, with enormous revenues coming into the city's fisc to help those in need when this is over. If there were hard feelings, they began to decimate after the Nats started winning. The team bought by real estate magnate Ted Lerner and family has never been to a World Series, but the Nats have won their division five times. We have the same feeling about this team we've had with Super Bowl teams, we had with the hockey team, with the Stanley Cup, we're going to have with, the, we we're having now with the women's basketball team. The we're, yeah. we're a city of winners in sports, and that's going to continue when we play either the Yankees or the Astros in the next week. There were two Senators teams. D.C.'s first Major League Baseball team was the Senators, who played in the American League from 1901 to 1960. Major League Baseball moved the Senators to Minnesota due to poor attendance at games here. You should know, though, that a new expansion team, also called the Senators, was brought to Washington. They lost an average 90 games per season. Frank Howard was the best player. The team eventually moved to Arlington, Texas in 1972, and they became the Texas Rangers.